In the shadowy world of classified military aviation, few stories capture the imagination quite like the SR-91 Aurora, a name whispered among aviation enthusiasts and defense analysts for decades. The Aurora is rumored to be the US military's most advanced reconnaissance aircraft, a plane so fast, so stealthy, and so enigmatic that even acknowledging its existence would send shockwaves through global geopolitics. Emerging from speculation in the 1980s, the Aurora is said to represent a quantum leap in aerospace technology. Unlike its predecessor, the SR-71 Blackbird, the Aurora operates under a shroud of secrecy so impenetrable that only tantalizing clues budget anomalies, unexplained contrails and eyewitness reports suggest its existence. Despite the denials, evidence continues to mount, fueling one of the most enduring aviation legends of all time. Today, we dive deeper than ever into the Aurora mystery. From the science of hypersonic flight to the cloak of black budgets, and from its potential role in global security to its broader implications for humanity's technological future, this is the definitive exploration of the SR-91 Aurora. The evolution of reconnaissance from balloons to blackbirds. Before we delve into the Aurora, it's essential to understand the broader context of reconnaissance aviation. For centuries, military strategists have sought ways to gain a bird's-eye view of enemy territory. From hot air balloons in the 19th century to spy planes like the U-2 and SR-71 in the Cold War, reconnaissance has been a cornerstone of military intelligence. The SR-71 Blackbird, setting the standard. The SR-71 Blackbird, developed in the 1960s, remains one of the most iconic reconnaissance aircraft ever built. Capable of flying at Mach 3 and altitudes of 85,000 feet, it outran missiles and provided invaluable intelligence during the Cold War. Its titanium construction, ramjet engines and stealth features made it a marvel of engineering. However, the SR-71 was retired in 1998, leaving a critical gap in U.S. reconnaissance capabilities. Satellites had taken over much of the intelligence-gathering role, but they were limited by predictable orbits. A new aircraft was needed, one that could reach speeds and altitudes beyond anything the world had seen. The Aurora is believed to be the answer. Hypersonic flight, breaking the boundaries of speed. Hypersonic flight, defined as speeds of Mach, five or higher, represents the cutting edge of aerospace technology. While supersonic planes like the Concorde and SR-71 operate comfortably below this threshold, hypersonic speeds introduce challenges that require entirely new approaches to design, materials, and propulsion. The physics of hypersonic flight. At Mach 5 Plus, air behaves differently. The friction between the aircraft and the atmosphere creates extreme heat, often exceeding 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. This heat not only threatens the structural integrity of the plane, but also creates a plasma sheath around it, which can affect radar detection and communication systems. The Aurora is rumored to operate at speeds of Mach 6 or higher, making it one of the fastest aircraft ever conceived. Such speeds would allow it to gather intelligence or deliver payloads with unmatched efficiency, reaching anywhere on Earth within hours. The strategic value of hypersonic speeds. Speed isn't just about getting there faster, it's about changing the rules of engagement. A hypersonic reconnaissance plane could enter and exit enemy airspace before detection systems could react. Its ability to evade radar and missile defenses would make it a critical asset in modern warfare, where speed and surprise are decisive factors. Engineering the impossible. 
Aurora's hypothetical design. The Aurora's rumored capabilities suggest groundbreaking advancements in aerospace engineering. From its materials to its propulsion system, every aspect of its design would need to overcome the immense challenges of hypersonic flight. Materials for the heat. At hypersonic speeds, heat becomes an aircraft's greatest adversary. Conventional aluminum or steel airframes would melt within minutes. The Aurora would require advanced materials like carbon-carbon composites, which can withstand extreme temperatures while maintaining structural integrity. Ceramic coatings and titanium alloys might also be used, reducing weight while enhancing durability. Aerodynamics and stability. Traditional aircraft designs are unsuitable for hypersonic speeds. The Aurora is believed to employ a triangular or delta wing shape, optimizing airflow and minimizing drag. This design, combined with active control surfaces and computer-assisted stability systems, would allow the Aurora to maintain precision even at Mach 6. Propulsion Breakthroughs One of the most fascinating aspects of the Aurora is its rumored propulsion system. Unlike conventional jet engines which rely on continuous combustion, the Aurora is thought to use a pulse detonation engine, PDE. PDEs detonate fuel in rapid bursts, creating powerful shockwaves that generate thrust. This method is more efficient at high speeds and could explain the donuts on a rope contrail patterns reported by eyewitnesses. Some theorists suggest the Aurora uses a combined cycle engine, which transitions between turbojet, ramjet, and scramjet modes. This would enable it to take off like a conventional plane and accelerate seamlessly to hypersonic speeds. The science of stealth at hypersonic speeds. Stealth technology is critical for reconnaissance aircraft, but hypersonic speeds introduce unique challenges. At Mach 5 Plus, the plasma sheath surrounding the aircraft amplifies its radar cross-section, while the intense heat it generates creates a visible infrared signature. Radar evasion. To minimize radar detection, the Aurora would need advanced composite materials that absorb electromagnetic waves. Its triangular shape described in multiple eyewitness accounts, would further reduce its radar signature by deflecting signals away from the source. Infrared concealment. Evasion of infrared detection is more complex. The Aurora's heat signature would be visible to sensors from hundreds of miles away. To address this, the aircraft might use active cooling systems or heat dissipating surfaces to mask its emissions. Sonic boom management. Another stealth challenge is noise. Hypersonic aircraft produce sonic booms, which can reveal their presence. Witnesses describe the Aurora's booms as deeper and less sharp than those of conventional jets, suggesting the use of shockwave dampening technologies. The cloak of secrecy black budgets and special access programs. The Aurora's development, if real, would almost certainly be funded through a black budget, a classified portion of government spending designed to shield sensitive projects from public scrutiny. Budget anomalies. In 1985, a US defense budget document listed a $2.3 billion allocation for an item labeled Aurora. While officials claimed the project was cancelled, the name has since become synonymous with a secret hypersonic aircraft program. Unacknowledged Special Access Programs USAPs. Black budgets often fund USAPs, where only a handful of individuals are aware of a project's existence. These programs operate under extreme secrecy, with verbal communication replacing written records to avoid creating a paper trail. The Aurora, if part of a USAP, would be one of the most tightly guarded secrets in military history. Eyewitness accounts. Glimpses of the Aurora. 
Eyewitness reports provide some of the most compelling evidence for the Aurora's existence. These sightings span decades and often describe triangular aircraft operating at high altitudes. Chris Gibson's testimony. In 1989, Chris Gibson, a trained aviation observer, reported seeing a triangular aircraft refueling midair, flanked by two military jets. His detailed sketch became a cornerstone of Aurora speculation, contrails and skyquakes. Residents of Southern California and Nevada frequently report hearing skyquakes and seeing unusual contrail patterns resembling doughnuts on a rope. These phenomena are consistent with the operation of a pulse detonation engine, suggesting the presence of a hypersonic aircraft. The Boscombe Down Incident In 1994, an unidentified aircraft reportedly made an emergency landing at Boscombe Down, a British military base. Witnesses described the area being secured, with the aircraft quickly covered and transported under heavy guard. The incident remains one of the most debated episodes in aviation history. Geopolitical Implications of the Aurora if the Aurora exists, it represents a seismic shift in global military strategy. Its speed, stealth and reconnaissance capabilities would give the US an unparalleled advantage in conflicts and crises. Strategic Intelligence A hypersonic reconnaissance plane could gather real-time intelligence from contested areas, providing critical data that satellites or drones cannot. This capability is invaluable in an era where information warfare shapes the battlefield. Global Rapid Response The Aurora's speed would allow for rapid response missions, enabling the US to project power anywhere on Earth within hours. Whether delivering payloads or evacuating personnel, such capabilities are a game-changer. Arms Race the development of the Aurora may have spurred similar efforts by other nations. China and Russia are actively pursuing hypersonic weapons and aircraft, raising concerns about a potential arms race in this domain. Civilian Applications of Hypersonic Technology While the Aurora is primarily a military asset, its technologies have the potential to revolutionize civilian aerospace. Commercial Aviation Hypersonic travel could reduce intercontinental flights to less than two hours, transforming global transportation. Imagine flying from New York to Tokyo in the time it takes to watch a movie. Space Exploration The Aurora's propulsion systems could also have implications for space travel. Hypersonic engines capable of reaching orbit would make space exploration more efficient and accessible. From Aurora to SR-72, the next chapter. The SR-72, often referred to as the Son of Blackbird, is Lockheed Martin's ambitious response to the growing demand for hypersonic reconnaissance and strike capabilities. Officially unveiled in 2013, the SR-72 is designed to achieve speeds of Mach 6, twice the speed of its legendary predecessor, the SR-71 Blackbird. While much of its development remains classified, the SR-72 has been described as a game-changer in modern military aviation. The vision behind the SR-72 The SR-72 represents a bold vision, a hypersonic aircraft that can perform dual roles as a reconnaissance and strike platform. At Mach 6, the SR-72 would be capable of reaching any point on the globe in hours, making it a critical asset for rapid response scenarios. Its speed and altitude would allow it to penetrate heavily defended airspace, gather real-time intelligence and deliver precision strikes all while remaining nearly untouchable by current missile and radar systems. The project builds on lessons learned from previous programs like the SR-71 and possibly the rumored Aurora. While Lockheed Martin has not confirmed any direct connection to the Aurora, 
The technological advancements attributed to the SR-72 suggest that it may incorporate concepts and innovations tested in earlier black projects. Key innovations of the SR-72 The SR-72 pushes the boundaries of aerospace engineering, introducing several groundbreaking technologies to address the challenges of sustained hypersonic flight. Here's a closer look at its key innovations. Turbine-based combined cycle, TBCC engine. The SR-72's most revolutionary feature is its turbine-based combined cycle, TBCC engine, developed in partnership with Aerojet Rocketdyne. This hybrid propulsion system combines the capabilities of a turbojet engine for low-speed flight and a scramjet engine for hypersonic speeds. Turbojet mode. During takeoff and subsonic flight, the turbojet provides efficient thrust, much like a conventional engine. Scramjet mode. As the aircraft accelerates beyond Mach 3, the engine transitions to scramjet mode, where it uses supersonic airflow for combustion. This allows the SR-72 to sustain speeds of Mach 6 or higher. The seamless transition between these modes is a significant technological achievement, enabling the SR-72 to operate across a wide range of speeds and altitudes. Hypersonic Stealth Design Stealth technology takes on a new dimension at hypersonic speeds. The SR-72's airframe is designed to minimize its radar cross-section while withstanding the intense heat generated by Mach 6 flight. Lockheed Martin has hinted at the use of thermal-resistant composites and radar-absorbing materials that allow the aircraft to evade detection by advanced radar and infrared tracking systems. Additionally, the SR-72 employs advanced aerodynamics to manage shockwaves and reduce its sonic boom signature. These features make it not only fast, but also difficult to detect and intercept. Heat Management Systems Heat is a critical challenge for hypersonic aircraft. At Mach 6, the airframe experiences temperatures exceeding 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, enough to compromise conventional materials. The SR-72 incorporates cutting-edge cooling technologies, including heat-dissipating skins and internal thermal management systems, to ensure the aircraft's components remain operational during sustained hypersonic flight. The SR-72 is expected to feature autonomous capabilities, leveraging advancements in artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning. These systems would allow the aircraft to perform missions with minimal human intervention, reducing pilot fatigue and enabling operations in high-risk environments where human survivability might be compromised. The SR-91 Aurora is more than just a rumor. It is a symbol of human ambition and ingenuity. Whether it exists as described or serves as a placeholder for future technologies, its story challenges us to imagine what lies beyond the horizon. As hypersonic technology advances, the Aurora reminds us that the pursuit of speed, stealth and innovation is unrelenting. Whether a myth, a prototype or a glimpse of the future, the Aurora continues to captivate and inspire. Stay tuned as we uncover more mysteries from the cutting-edge world of advanced aviation and military technology.